Hey guys, my name is Iman. I am in the Blossom Studio today to try out some weird beauty hacks. You know, I think a lot of these are gonna fail, but you know we're gonna approach this with some positivity and optimism, and maybe we'll get a good result. Okay, so this hack involves using a hanger to do your brows. You just kind of put the hanger in your mouth and use the wire part to guide your pencil. I don't know about this, but visually, it's intriguing. You just kind of put it in your mouth. Probably gonna drool on myself at some point. So that's gonna be cute. Bush, 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 bush. <laughs> this is like only good for getting the inner part of your brow. Ow. First of all, my brows are crooked. Second of all, I'm looking like the goddamn Joker from these hanger lines. I do like how it gives me like this permanent quizzical look. Excuse me? What? Oops. It doesn't even stay. Oh, you know, I think I know how to make it stay. Bend it. Okay. So I think I'm gonna stay. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna follow the line. See where it shakes me. Let's see what it's did. I don't hate it, but I also don't like it. I wouldn't say that this was a success, but it did kind of give me ideas of how you could make this work to get your perfect Colin Farrell look. Go for it, I say. This one I've actually seen a lot on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and whatnot. Using lash glue to get bare lips. You know, the eternal search for that perfect pout. So we're gonna give this a try and see if I can turn myself into a living brat doll. So I'm gonna just go for it. And you just kinda put your lip up like that and then wait. It's like I'm sniffing my fingers after I scratch my butt. Mmm, <laughs> roses. This doesn't seem to be drying all that well. I'm gonna call in some help from my trusty, <laughs> I forgot what this is called blow dryer and see if this works. It does. Alright. In three, two, one. I mean, I guess. All I really did was just got rid of my Cupid's bow. So now I have more of a hump of a lip. Color me unimpressed. So this one is a DIY lip stain for all of you people out there with extremely pale lips. Do this hack. You need it. Uh, yeah, so take some school glue and some food coloring, put it on, peel it off, and ba bow you got yourself a lip stain. Ooh, that color is quite hideous. I'm gonna add more of it. Can you hear that? like afraid that I'm gonna get this in my mouth and it's gonna ruin my whole day. Bottom lip done and looking very juicy if I do say so. The top lip now. That was a horrible idea. Oh no. And I'm just gonna have a red tooth, y'all. Can I have a napkin? Oh my god, no, no, oh no. If you want a good face workout, oh, I'm drooling, oh, oh no. I recommend you holding your face in this position. If anybody wants my DNA, send me your address and I'll send you this cotton swab. Should I just have pink teeth now? Might as well finish the hack, right? So yeah, the it is now dried and it is doing this horrifying, my mouth is glued effect. Oh. We're gonna peel this off. Oh, that is very satisfying though. Oh yeah, <sighs> almost worth it. <laughs> That's actually pretty great. So would I do this hack again? No, maybe just without the food coloring and the glue, just for that feeling of peeling it off of my lips. It actually felt pretty great. It just doesn't feel so great to smile. I think if you wanna avoid all of the mess, Go get yourself a bag of hot Cheetos. And you know. I kinda like this color. So this
this hack right here is, you know, to give yourself a good old Hollywood facelift for a fraction of the price. Seems like it's an actual product though, and you kind of apply it to the corners of your face up here, and it's just supposed to give you a nice snatch look. So if you su suffer, if you suffer from a saggy face, try this. We're just gonna go really hacky with it and use some good old fashioned scotch tape. So I'ma just on my face. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for that. Let's see what happens when I let go. Nothing, okay. So I'm thinking that if I have a long enough piece of tape to go all the way around my head, it'll stay. I have a really big head, guys, so don't judge me. I think that kind of worked. I don't know how you would rock this out in public, Now all of it's coming off. Okay, so this scotch tape doesn't have stain power. That means I have to go a little bit more heavy duty with this. Everybody's gonna be like, how did you do that? What did you do? How much did it cost? And I will say it was $1.99. <laughs> it looked like the cockroach from Men in Black. Sugar. Sugar. All right, so this is a final look. Would I recommend this? Probably not. Would I wear this out? All right, so I think this one is actually pretty cool. All you need is some chapstick and some eyeshadow. You can choose any color, rub some chapstick on it, and it's just supposed to transfer that same color onto your lips. And what color do I want to go with? Since I'm feeling mildly insane, we're gonna go with an insane color. Bora Bora or Riviera? Actually, no, that's too light. I'm gonna look like a crackhead. So you got a fair amount on there. Oh! Oh, that works. <laughs> Kinda makes me look a little bit like an alien. So it works. It's very vibrant. This is actually a pretty good hack. I feel like if I chose maybe a less crazy color, then it would actually look all right. It does feel a bit weird. Kinda feels like I just dipped my lips in some paint. Well, I'll look like you belong in the movie Fifth Element, then go for it. The closer I get, the more horrifying it is. This hack that I got pulled up right here is a DIY way to make your brows as bushy as they can be. I kind of have just naturally wispy eyebrows, you know? All you need for this is a bar of soap, a spoolie, and some water. Rub it in there. And you apply that same paste to your eyebrows. And up we go. And then that paste or lather is what keeps your brows glued up. So I'm assuming I'm just supposed to let these suckers dry. I feel like I might be able to go over it with the brow tint already. I mean, they're definitely bushier. Just kind of looks like my eyebrows are rioting. I look like the lion from Wizard of Oz, especially this one, I feel like. My eyebrows are definitely bushier, channeling more of my androgynous side, which I don't mind, you know? Sometimes you just gotta hit them with a... I don't know what that was, but you don't either, so. Bushy brows, it works. Use some soap. If you like this look, go for it. I don't know if I would do it again. I don't know, maybe. It kind of like gives my face a little bit of oomph. I'm gonna channel my model pose. I don't know what happened with my hair there, but... involves using lipstick, red or orange, to cover up dark circles. I'm assuming that maybe it'll help with bags, which I got. Yeah, you just kind of put lipstick under your eyes and then put foundation on top of that. That should be fun. And it gives you a more youthful appearance, less tired, less like you only sleep four hours regularly in life. I'm gonna try this out with some red lipstick. Yep, that's red. Don't know how this is gonna turn out. So go in with some foundation now, which 
I have not applied a full face of foundation probably ever in my life. It's a lot. This just looks like a horror movie. Do this side now. I have read and seen in videos that you're just supposed to pat the beauty blender. And I must say this takes forever. I'm gonna turn into a zombie. I don't know if this is reading on camera, but in real life, I look absolutely horrifying right now. I also think I maybe just chose the wrong foundation shade. I look like a mannequin. This kind of is a nice face massage, just kind of beating yourself. Yeah, see, there we go. Now the red's starting to go away a little bit. I don't know if you can see, at least on this eye. I don't see the red as much. I don't see my bags when I do this. Granted, this is for dark circles. I don't know if it's supposed to help with bags. In the same general vicinity on your eye, you know, bags and dark circles kind of go together. But I think it might work. Again, I don't really know what I'm looking for. So maybe, I don't know, try it yourself. So for this hack, if you're out of eyeliner, you can dip some color pencils into some hot water and then bam, you got some eyeliner. This sounds like an eye infection waiting to happen. So obviously, let's do it. Ooh, let's build it. And then whichever colors you want, blue matches my jean jacket. Maybe yellow for some UCLA Bruin pride. <laughs> Them. I think that's good for now. I think you're supposed to let it sit. It's bubbling. I don't know if that's a cause for concern. I don't think it says how long. Oh, you're supposed to let it sit for five minutes. Guess I'll see you in five minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes, so we're gonna see if this actually works. I think I'm gonna go in with blue first. Eyeliner has never been my strong suit, so please don't judge me as I do this. This isn't very vibrant, but it kind of works. So I guess if you absolutely cannot go to a drugstore to pick up your favorite blue eyeliner, then grab some colored pencils instead. This yellow is kind of coming off a little pukey, but you know, I think we're just gonna roll with it. The spirit of Bob Ross. I think we're just gonna get into some really soothing coloring here. I think I could definitely go out to a club like this. But now it just looks like I have blue tears. And this very accurately reflects how I'm feeling on the inside about what is going on on my eye right now. I think we're just gonna have to lean really hard into the fact that this, is, this looks like a child has done it. This is kind of reminding me of an ocean. I'm gonna add a little curl there so it looks like it's, a, it's an actual wave. Put some sand underneath. So it'll be like a kind of... <gasps> Oh, that one came out nice, actually. So I think if you're going for more of a avant-garde toddler edition look, then maybe you can make this work. Honestly, it's kind of drying funny. It makes my face feel chalky. I don't know, I think you can maybe rock this look. You just gotta have the confidence for it, right? This hack works. So this hack involves using cocoa powder to contour your face. I have never contoured before. So, but it's cocoa powder, so, you know, I'm a little bit excited for that because, you know, chocolate. Actually, we don't have cocoa powder. We do have hot chocolate mix, but, you know, same difference, just more sugar. So I kind of have an idea of where it's supposed to go on my face, which is roughly, you know, here and on the sides of your nose, so your nose kind of goes. I mean, I guess. Oh. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. This is actually scarily good. I don't really recommend this. I actually think it might work better with cocoa powder because I feel like that has more staying power as opposed to this. I feel like it's just kind of sliding off my face mostly. But you gotta work with what you got and sometimes what you got ain't good enough. Life lesson. We got ourselves here a freckles hack. Some DIY freckles with root cover up. So we're gonna put some freckles on my face. Looking at videos of this, it's like a very fine touch that you need to have. It's like if you spray too much, then you're just gonna get a splotch. So you kind of need to make it butter. I hope I don't get this in my eye. People be warned. I'm gonna just squint. I'm gonna just squint while I do this. It just kind of feels like somebody's lightly spitting on my face. And I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, just gonna roll with it. It's a mole. Let me just try and speed up this process.
I think it's safe to say that this was a grand fail. Maybe it's just that I didn't use a root cover-up that was dark enough for my skin. When I was doing the sputter effect, it just didn't show up. So as I added more, it just turned into dirt face. Wash me, please. Yeah, no, that, that didn't work. So that brings us to an end to this hot mess of a journey. If you enjoyed yourself, hit that like button or drop a suggestion of what you think I should try next. And as always, subscribe.